Welcome to Allie in the Valley. I'm Allison Ball Kilmer. Allie in the Valley is a lifestyle blog about healthy, delicious food, all while staying on a budget. Homegrown cooking, down to earth living. Allie in the Valley. I'm Allison Bob Kilmer. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to do a very traditional dish, which is a turkey meatloaf. But instead of doing traditional style, because here at Allie in the Valley, I always got to change it up and do something unique and different and cute. And these were all found on Pinterest. So it's cupcakes. So turkey meatloaf cupcakes or turkey meatloaf made in muffin pans, a cupcake pan. And basically what you get is these tiny little cute yummy turkey meatloaf that you don't eat too many, it's kind of portion control, it's great for all the bodybuilders and weightlifters. See, I'm trying to lift more weight. <laughs> but seriously, that's why I saw the people who like really work out for portion control. This is kind of where I got it from, and you make individuals that keep well in the refrigerator. My kids love to take them to school, and they're absolutely delicious, and you don't overeat unless you eat them all. My ingredients are very simple. Um, an onion, garlic, celery, all the seasoning, and instead of using flour or any really fatty type of bind that you usually use um, for meatloaf, like bread and stuff like that, I'm using um, gluten-free rolling oats. So that even keeps it even more health conscious, gluten-free, because we're all trying to stay healthy and eat healthier. So first to get started, I am going to just cut a medium size to a large size onion. If you're only doing um, one pound of turkey meat, like one of these, you would just do it like a medium size, but I'm doing two because in my family, these babies go quick. If you were doing one pound, like I said before of meat, you would do two cloves of garlic, but I'm doing two pounds, so I'm doing four cloves of garlic. Now, I'm gonna do four stalks of celery. Then, I'm gonna add my turkey meat, because then I'm gonna start seasoning. Instead of um, the fattening breadcrumbs, which work just as well, depending on healthy, how healthy you want it. I'm doing rolling oats. Rolling oats are gluten, these are gluten free, they're very healthy. Um, I'm gonna do one cup of oats. I might need more depending on once I start mixing to see how it is, okay? And then I'm gonna do seasoning. I'm gonna do my essence. Now, I always talk about this essence. It has all my yummy stuff in it. Herbs and spices, it's on my website. Put a couple, a little bit of that in. Then I'm gonna do a little salt. Pepper. All the right, um, Measurements are on my website. I am a cook that doesn't really measure all the time. <laughs> but, um, just because I've done it so many times, but all the exact measurements are on my website. So that makes you go to my website, so you have to get the right measurements. <laughs> all right, we're gonna do a little bit of red pepper, cayenne pepper, not too much. You don't wanna overspice it. We're gonna do some dried mustard. If you don't have dry mustard, you can do regular mustard. And actually, each of these are either one to two teaspoons each, okay? And then we're gonna do thyme. All right, everything's in here now, except now I need to put three egg whites in um, to bind it all together. And once I start binding it all together, I'll decide if I need to put more oats in. And these 
oats are really, really good because it keeps it gluten-free. It's not fattening brick carbs and stuff. So this is a healthier version of um, turkey meatloaf cupcakes. All right, so I got the egg yolk in there. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay, I'll use these eggs for something else. I mean egg whites. I'm putting the egg whites in now. And then once I've mixed this all up, I'll put the barbecue sauce in to kind of give it a, you could do ketchup, barbecue sauce, you can do sriracha, depending on how spicy you want it. I prefer barbecue sauce. The old fashioned way is ketchup, which you know. But we're binding it all together. I'm gonna put a whole nother uh, cup of oats in there because, maybe a cup, maybe a half, because, um, Instead of doing one pound of turkey meat, I'm doing two. Now this is um, barbecue sauce, brown sugar barbecue sauce. All right, there you go. Let's mix one more time. Ah, I like that consistency better. I'm gonna spray the muffin pan, because you don't want these babies sticking. So let's spray very generously. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna make balls. It's almost like food play stuff, Play-Doh. <laughs> but yeah, I'm making balls. And I'm gonna set, this might be a little bit too big. That's kind of a big ball. There you go, that's better. preheated and it goes in for like 40 minutes 30 to 40 minutes depending man my turkey meatloaf cupcake should be done now yummy in my tummy yeah okay no, let's get it <laughs> They like cupcakes with meat. Yeah, baby. Lousa. All right, here you go. There those babies are. With, with the barbecue sauce on them. Oh, I got barbecue sauce on my muffin pan. I mean, my gloves, that's okay. So to get them out, because I did spray them, but Sometimes I get a little stuck anyway. I just take a knife, go around the edges. Ooh, ooh. They're hot. These won't last long. My family's home, they're already like, yum. My 16 year old's like, yum. <laughs> and the ones with sriracha, those are our favorite. We do barbecue sauce. You can do barbecue sauce or ketchup on them, either way. Super healthy, portion control. We used oats instead of breadcrumbs. It was gluten-free, turkey, vegetables, a win-win all around. You know where to get the recipe, www.alley in the valley, turkey meatloaf cupcakes. Mmm, mmm, aha, mmm, mmm, good. Hot, but good.